Welcome to the Golden West College's 52nd Commencement and Ceremony. My name is Tim McGrath, and it's my honor to be the president of Golden West College. To commemorate tonight's event, we wanted you to know that we're videotaping this so you'll be able to watch it at a future time from our website. In addition, for your parents, we've hired professional photographers to take the perfect picture for your graduate as when they enjoy the moment of receiving their diploma. Please rise for the presentation of the colors by the Golden West College Regional Criminal Justice Training Center Police Academy Class 160. Honor Guard, advance. Please remain standing and remove your hats in respect for the flag. At this time, I'd like to invite the Spring 2019 Associated Students Executive Student Council President, Joseph Nielsen, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. In salute to our great nation, please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance, the National Anthem, and the dismissal of the Honor Guard. At this time, I'd like to ask everyone to place their right hand over their heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem, sung by one of our old, own Golden West College students, Araceli Fernandez.
Graduates and guests, you now may be seated. Let's give a round of applause for the Honor Guard from the Police Academy Class 160 and Araceli for the wonderful performance of the National Anthem. I'd also like to thank the students for the Interpreter Training Class of 2019 for their work this evening as well. It's now my pleasure to introduce the members of the platform party. Members of the Coast Community College District Board of Trustees are with us this evening. Our board president, Dr. Lorraine Prinsky. <laughs> board Vice President Jerry Patterson could not be here this evening, but he sends his sincere congratulations to all the graduates. Board Clerk, Jim Marino. <laughs> Trustee, Mary Hornbuckle. Trustee David Grant, and tu student trustee Amber Gill. Representatives from the Coast Community College District include Chancellor Dr. John Weisfenning, Vice Chancellor of Finance and Administrative Services Dr. Andy Dunn could not be with us as well this evening, but he also wanted to send his congratulations to all the graduates. Vice Chancellor of Human Resources, Dr. Marco Bieso. You can tell he's from SC, can't you? Vice Chancellor of Educational Services and Technology, Dr. Andrea Serbon. And the Golden West representatives include Acting Vice President of Instruction, Albert Gasparian. Vice President of Student Services, Dr. Claudia Lee. <laughs> Vice President of Administrative Services, Janet Houlihan. <laughs> Academic Senate Presser, President, Professor Marty Rom Ingle. <laughs> Professor of History and the 2019 Teacher of the Year, Sunshine McLean. <laughs> Professor of Chemistry, Dr. K. Dutz. <laughs> Student Speaker, Agustino Carrillo. <laughs> Mayor of Huntington Beach, the Honorable Eric Peterson. <laughs> and distinguished guests who are in the audience tonight are Vice President, President of Instruction from Coastline Community College, Dr. Vince Rodriguez. Interim President of Orange Coast College, Kevin Ballinger, and Honey, oops, sorry, <laughs> and Huntington Beach City Council Member Kim Carr. <laughs> Graduates, tonight as you arrive at this place in your life, you do so because of your hard work, the support of your family and friends, and the faculty that set a hard, high bar of excellence that you not only reached but surpassed. As I was thinking about how to frame my comments to you, I wanted to find a way to express the uniqueness of a college degree and the rare company that you now join. Let's put your achievement in perspective. The world consists of about seven and a half billion people and over the 7% of the, that world's population has a college degree. Tonight you join this top 7% of the world's population. In the United States, you join the top 60% of the population that has finished an associate degree or higher. As you look around to the other graduates sitting next to you, you are part of a very distinguished and important group that now has doors open to them that most of the world can only dream about. Each of you have your own personal story and future plans, but today one thing that you have all in common is that Golden West College was part of your educational journey and today, the college's faculty, staff, and administrators want you to know how proud we are of all of you. And now I'd like to invite Dr. John Weisfenning, Chancellor of the Community College District, to the, to the podium to provide some welcoming remarks.
Change. I think it's the most feared word in the English language. But today, I ask you not to fear change, but to embrace it. You came to Golden West College because you wanted something to be different. Today, we mark that something is different. It may have happened quickly, a concept unveiled in a class. Or it may have happened gradually, a slow realization that took years to develop. Today, your family, your friends, your professors, and your community gathers to say, well done. As Chancellor of the Coast Community College District, I welcome all of you to celebrate the achievements of those before you. Well done. Thank you, Dr. Weiss-Fenning, for your words. Now I invite to the podium the President of the Board of Trustees, Dr. Lorraine Prinsky, to welcome the graduates on behalf of the Board of Trustees. Okay. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Distinguished Coast Community College District Board of Trustees, welcome to the Golden West College commencement for 2019. We have five elected individuals who have the honor of representing you in overseeing Golden West and her two sister colleges, Coastline and Orange Coast College. Today is a day of great pride for all of us here as we mark the completion of one step in, the, in your education in which we hope you will make a lifelong commitment. Thank you. On behalf of the college, I would like to personally thank the Golden West College faculty for their dedication to student learning, the standard of excellence they set in the classroom, and the professionalism they bring to the campus each day. To best represent the combined work of our faculty, I'd like to introduce Professor Marty Rom Engel to address the graduates. Trustees, Chancellor Weiss Finning, President McGrath, honest, honored guests, faculty, and students. It is my profound honor to be here representing the nearly 500 members of the Golden West College faculty. Many of you may not be aware of what a formidable and accomplished faculty call Golden West College their home. Golden West College faculty members are published poets, authors, and playwrights. We are award-winning faculty coaches who have consistently led Golden West College to more state athletic championships than any other community college in the state of California. We are researchers, educators, and originators who have been recognized on the local, state, and national level for teaching excellence and for innovative leadership. We are a diverse faculty, and frankly, we are pretty good at what we do. <laughs> Students, when you arrived at Golden West College, you did not know much about some of the subjects that we teach. I'm sure some of you thought you knew everything, as many of us did when we entered college, too. But the fact remains that you did not. The faculty believe that our job is to teach you how to accept new information, learn a skill, analyze it, and ultimately use it somehow, somewhere. Our job is to teach you the theories, applications, and innovations of our disciplines and inspire you to use that knowledge to enhance your studies, your future careers, and the society you live in. Each of you graduating today are leaving with more knowledge than you had when you walked in here. You can thank your favorite professor and at times even your least favorite professor for that. Our ultimate wish for you is that one day be it in your undergraduate studies, grad school, or in your professional career, someone brings you an idea, a fact, a 
a concept, or a way to solve a problem that they think is new and exciting. We hope at that moment you smile and realize that you've already heard it, discussed it, or employed it because your professors at Golden West College already shared it with you. At that moment, we want you to know that the idea or concept or fact that you thought was worthless and were never going to use suddenly became valuable. Our job was to teach you things you did not know, things you can use, things you can acknowledge then ignore, things you can use as a seed to grow new things. Our job was to prepare you to leave us as educated and informed people, and the fact that you are here today celebrating the completion of your studies at Golden West College means that the Golden West College faculty did accomplish our goal. We honor your achievements today and look forward to what you can create, what you can teach others, and how you can make the world a better place as you enter your new phase of life as a graduate of Golden West College. It is now my pleasure to introduce Vice President of Student Services, Dr. Claudia Lee. Thank you and congratulations. Tonight, we celebrate our graduating students and we recognize the Golden West faculty and staff for contributing to the sex success of the students we honor. Let's please give them a round of applause. I would like to invite all student veterans and all veterans in the audience and on the platform to please stand. It is with great pride that Golden West College recognizes all those in this graduating class and in our community that have served in the military. Let's give them a round of applause for their service to our country. <laughs> Along with the American flag flying during graduation, I'd like to call your attention to the other flags that surround us. These flags represent some of the countries of our international students. This year, 41 of our international students representing 11 different countries are receiving the associate's degree or a certificate of achievement. Graduates, you should be proud to be graduating from a California community college. California has the largest community college system in the world with 115 colleges serving 2.5 million students. 54% of graduates from the California State Universities and 30% of students who graduate from a University of California started at a California Community College. This year, we're, we are awarding 4,500 degrees and certificates to over 1,100 students. You will notice that the graduates are wearing different colored gowns, cords, and stoles. The green cap and gown represents those receiving an associate's degree. The gold cap and gown represents those receiving a certificate of achievement. And the white cap and gown represents those graduating from our nursing program with an associate's degree. The gold cord signifies graduates who have achieved a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher. In this graduating class, there are 337 students with this honor. All students wearing the gold honor cord, please stand and be recognized for your achievement. Please remain standing if you have a 4.0 GPA. Congratulations on your accomplishments. You may be seated. Now it's my pleasure to introduce to you Acting Vice President of Instruction, Albert Gasparian.
The R. Dudley Boyce Award was established by the Student Council in 1975 as an annual award in the memory of Dr. Boyce, the founding president whose vision helped open this campus with, the, with Let Change Be the Tradition. This award recognizes a student who most exemplifies the quality of leadership that is selfless to the campus and community and all they do as a servant leader. I would like to introduce Dr. Kay Dutes, Professor of Chemistry, to say a few words about this year's recip recipient and to present the award. I am here today to present this year's winner of the R. Dudley Boyce Outstanding Student Award, Ms. Erin Araneta. Erin was a student in my Chemistry 110 course two years ago, and after getting one of the highest A's in my course, she began working as my course assistant and my course tutor for the past two years. Even though I'm no longer teaching Chem 110, Erin has still been assisting other faculty with the course. And every day, I can't wait for her to come running down the hallway screaming, Dr. Jutes, as she runs into my office to tell me how her day has been, what new chemistry she has been learning about, and to remind me, for some reason, that I am nearly twice her age. What immediately sets Erin apart from other students is her incredible enthusiasm, both for life and, more importantly, for science. She has a voracious curiosity and an immense desire to lead and help those around her. Both her zest for life, her selflessness, and her signature laugh are infectious, as is apparent to anyone who has ever spent any time with her. Erin is always interested in serving others, whether that be us faculty, other students, AGS, or any number of other organizations to which she is lending her time. She does so much, but her ruthless ambition keeps her always looking to do more. I am so honored that Erin has asked me to present this award to her because I'm also so very proud of her. Over the past two years, I have watched Erin grow up into what's becoming both a young woman and a young scientist. And I can't wait to see what she accomplishes when she launches herself out into the world. I'm sure it will be interesting, and I'm sure she will let me know every step of the way. I hope the world is ready for what is about to happen to it. Will you please join me in congratulating Erin Joy Araneta, this year's recipient of the R. Dudley Boyce Outstanding Student Award. This year's commencement speaker, student speaker, was selected by the 2019 commencement committee through an application and audition process. It is my pleasure to introduce you to Augustina Carrillo as this year's student speaker. Please join me in welcoming Augustina to the podium. Thank you for the introduction and welcome all to the 52nd commencement ceremony at Golden West College. My journey at Golden West College began in 2012, fresh out of high school. I know what you must be thinking. Seven years? How? What? Wow. Here's a little backstory on the timeline of my education. I started out as a full-time student, attending four days a week like any incoming freshman college student would, riding the bus from Orange to Huntington Beach as early as 6 a.m. Majoring in nursing, I already had my plans ready to go. Fast forward to the spring of 2014, I was enrolled in general microbiology. As many of my fellow Associate of Arts scienceers know, this is a tough and strong-minded biology course. Unbeknownst to me, three months in, I became pregnant. The combination of morning sickness and fatigue with the smell of bacterial cultures, oh, believe me, that was not so great. One day, I woke up past the start of my lab section. Pregnancy tiredness, man, was that no joke. I was already at a low C, and I knew missing this one lab day would push me further down to where I couldn't bring my grade back up to grid line expectations. So I dropped. I figured maybe I would take it again the following semester. A year or so later, being a full-time employee at a fast food joint and a full-time mother, I thought to myself, maybe I can go back. I can do this. 
I applied, registered, and completed winter intercession of 2016. As we all know, life happens. I've learned over and over that life happens on its own terms, not mine. That summer semester, I registered for microbiology, but before I could start, I had to set it aside due to personal issues, which had me calling off from work and moving from three different homes within the span of two months. I went on with the same routine of life, 10-hour workdays, and coming home to care for my baby girl. I felt alone, tired, and overworked. Watching my daughter sleep, I would cry each night asking myself, is this real? Is this my life? Is this all I can offer her? By the end of the next year, I transitioned into my current job. With the change of environment, I felt motivation, the motivation to finish what I started. There I was again, applying and registering for fall of 2018. I am so grateful that faculty and staff here at Golden West College have been here each step of the way. Each time I left school, I came back. They were there to help me with my student ed plan, answering questions I had regarding my major, and offering me additional resources. Oh, and by the way, can you all guess what course I registered for? You got it, microbiology. Three classes later, I pulled through. This semester, I was ready to give up once again. I lost a loved one. I was missing lectures and labs. I figured, I'm probably not going to pass this class. With the strength, love, and support, especially from the angel now looking down on me, I pushed myself and succeeded. I gave it my best, and here I am standing in front of you all. Today, I feel accomplished. I encourage for you to keep your spirit, keep the fire in your soul, your drive, your passion, and your determination. Follow your dreams. Live your best life. You deserve it. Everyone does. As A.A. A. Milne said, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And lastly, to my daughter Maribel, I want you to know I followed my dreams for you. I will not look back, but instead to continue to move forward in reaching all my goals. I hope I make you proud as one day I will be sitting out there cheering for you. Thank you, and once again, congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you, Augustina, and now you know why we have the best jobs in the world. Now it's my pleasure to introduce the 2019 Golden West College Commencement Speaker, Honorable Eric Peterson, Mayor of Huntington Beach. As a longtime resident of Huntington Beach, Mayor Peterson has seen the city grow and flourish over that time. Elected to the City Council in 2014 and re-elected in 2018, Dr. Excuse me, Mayor Peterson wants to keep Huntington Beach one of the best places to live, work, and learn. In 2005, Eric opened up his own company in the interconnect networking industry and made Huntington Beach its central location with a small branch in San Diego. Eric has served his community and country. He joined the Marine Corps in 1991 and served for five years, receiving an honorable discharge. In addition to serving as a former Huntington Beach Finance Board mem member, a former Design Review Board member, a former Huntington Beach Planning Commissioner, he has also volunteered as a local scoutmaster. Eric and his wife Brandy have two sons and plan to retire in Huntington Beach someday. Please join me in welcoming Mary Mayor Eric to the podium. Good afternoon, everyone. Congratulations. Thank you for that introduction. Um, what a wonderful group of students, and, and really, your speech was moving. It's hard to follow something like that, so um, I'll try. Anyway, I have a special connection to Golden West. Some 30 years ago, I attended the college, and my younger son currently attends. I think actually I have a couple aunts that also started their career here. As a representative of Huntington Beach, I've always been grateful for such a wonderful institution in my city. Many students who have attended this college went on to do some amazing things. Some of the more notable alumni are professional athletes, movie stars, tech moguls, financial experts, police chiefs, and at least one teacher here 
Peter Green, has been the mayor of Huntington Beach multiple times. Personal, personally, it was an honor to be asked to speak today. It's something I never expected to do in my lifetime. When I was originally asked, I was told to have a 10 to 15 minute speech. It's not gonna be 15 minutes, so. It sounded like it wasn't gonna be a big challenge, but trying to prepare for the speech, I started watching some commencement speeches and found out it's probably gonna be a little harder than I thought. I can sit here and talk about municipal, state, and federal issues all day long, but it's a little harder for inspiration and advice. It's not really in my wheelhouse. So I had to do a little, put a little more effort into this. I thought, well, these young adults are starting a new, new journey. Maybe I can work on something to talk about on that subject. And then two days ago, my son graduated from Long Beach State. So I was all excited. I said, great, maybe I can, there's gonna be some well-prepped speeches here. Uh, I can get some more ideas to add to my, my speech. Unfortunately, he graduated from the School of Engineering. And the engineering faculty are very short-winded. There was not, not a speech longer than three minutes. So anyway, um, with the 10 to 15 minutes, I, I don't know. I think I'm being punished. But uh, anyway, you've all heard the phrase, you're closing another chapter in your life. Basically, it refers to the completion of a milestone moment in your life and starting another. In the end, all the chapters contribute to the book of you. For me, I always thought of that book as a math book. Because math, like life, can be very easy and very difficult. But what you learn in the beginning helps you through to the end. In math, you start with the easy stuff. One plus one is two, two plus two is four, and so on through arithmetic. As you progress, you learn why two plus two equals four. And then you solve for variables. Later, you can determine a point in space and solve an equation and draw a line or a graph representing the relationship between two points in space. For some, it becomes another language. The point is it all started with the basics. One plus one is two. And the basics used in conjunction with more advanced mathematical formulas, you can achieve success in the most advanced mathematics. Learning the basic of, basics of arithmetic gives you the foundation you need to progress to higher levels of math. Life is the same. We learn the basics when we are young and apply what we learn as we go through our lives. Our foundations are set by our family, our friends, our acquaintances, our community, our spiritual beliefs, our lack of spiritual beliefs, our successes, failures, good times, bad times. And if you ask a sociology teacher, I'm sure they'll give you a million more. But just how math, just how math builds on itself, as you progress through life, you learn and you grow. Like math, sometimes it gets hard and confusing. Sometimes you fail. Sometimes you want to give up. But I promise you that being persistent and falling back on your foundation will get you through anything. Today represents the strength of your individual foundations. Through your time at this college, you have strengthened yourself and abilities to work on the big equations life will throw at you and they're gonna throw some at you. My time in the Marine Corps taught me two lessons, some better than others, some learned easier than others. The two I remember the most were adapt and overcome and embrace the suck. Now adapt and overcome's pretty easy to figure out. Basically, whatever situation or problem, rely on yourself, your training, and your fellow Marines to figure out and complete your mission, period. Not much more, get the job done. But getting the job done relies on the efforts you and your fellow Marines put in before the mission. Laying the foundation and refining your abilities through hours of training to, to get everything you need to get the mission done. The second lesson, embrace the suck, sounds a little negative. But it's actually a testament to the dedication Marines have to endure whatever is thrown at them. When we thought it was bad in boot camp, it got worse in infantry training school. When he thought it was bad there, it got worse in the school of infantry. 
After that, we have some of the worst duty stations in the world, hand-me-downs from other services, and the constant expectation of excellence, all of which we love and embrace. Because as long as we focus on the end goal and not the negative stuff thrown at us, we can handle anything. A good example of this is a famous Marine Corps general, Chesty Puller. One time he said, they're to our left, they're to our right, they're behind us and they're in front of us. They're not going to get away. In preparing for this speech, I came across a video by a gentleman named Keena Ryan. It covered some of the principles I learned in the Marine Corps, but more eloquently and with less pain. I thought it had a pretty powerful message, so I wanted to share some of it with you today. He said, it is easy to get worked up on a daily basis. If you want to find a reason to get annoyed, you will. If you want to find a reason to complain about something, you will. If you want to see someone get on your nerves, you will. There are countless opportunities throughout the day to get frustrated, disappointed, or annoyed at people, places, and situations you're around. The challenge is we often see our lives as, often see our lives worse than they are. We shouldn't waste the time of our life complaining because complaining doesn't solve problems. Whenever we complain about pain or strain or situations in our life, we stop ourselves from change. And complaining is contagious. When we do it, we give it to everyone around us, which means now we're surrounded by a complaining culture. And we know this, spending today complaining about yesterday won't make tomorrow better. I believe Mr. Ryan had a great message. Sometimes we get caught up in the negative, especially today in the 24-7 information being shoved at us all the time. But it's important to stop focusing on that negative and focus on the positive. And if something isn't thrown in your way, embrace it. Adapt and work out a plan to overcome. After graduation, some of you will go right into the workforce. Others will continue to hire learning. Some may just take a break. Whatever you do tomorrow, remember your accomplishment today. Remember the feeling you have right now. That feeling can come from any accomplishment. Let yourself feel that. Don't diminish any progress you make. Take and take joy in others' accomplishments. You have a foundation. That foundation gets stronger with every success gained and every trial endured. You are the future leaders, parents, and pillars of our society. You're their example to all who follow behind you. You are the foundation of our country. Own it, cherish it. You are our future. Thank you so much for letting me speak today and congratulations again to all of you. Thank you, Mayor Peterson, for those, those kind words and a reminder that this is one chapter ending and another one starting. On behalf of the college, we wanted to give you a certificate honoring the role that you played in today's commencement and to thank you for, for your time, your efforts, and your kind words. Thank you. It is now my honor to, to present the class of 2019 to the Board of Trustees and ask that Board President Dr. Lorraine Princey to come forward to confer the degrees and certificates. Okay, are you ready? On behalf of the Coast Community College District Board of Trustees, I accept the 52nd graduating class of 2019. The students before you have, success, have satisfactorily completed all requirements for the Associate of Arts or Associated Transfer Degree or Certificate of Achievement and are eligible to receive their diplomas and certificates. May you continue your pursuit of personal achievements and strengthen your commitments to our society. Thank you, Dr. Prinsky. 
joining me on the stage are vice president of student services dr. claudia lee lee and vice president of administrative services janet houlihan, houlihan for the presentation of degrees and certificates would the graduates please come forward to accept their degrees and certificates Katie Cormier. Madrid Ruiz. Miguel Roman. Brendan Ho. Cameron Rose Weinberg. Cambria Greer. Danielle Michelle Morrill. Monique Lizette Rodriguez. Jose Luis Gonzalez. Samantha Laura Cortez. New Din. Tu Huynh. Camille Cronitas. Danielle Valencia. Isaias Rojas. Bailey Ostergaard. Gustavo Santos. Samantha Cortez. Fernando Alvarez. Hua Win. Yen Tran. Xiao and Dong Summer Tram Huin Tao Nyok Fuang Tran Tristan Trin Tuan Win Ann Pham. Vivian Pham. Vin Tui Pham. Lin Vu. Hui Nat Vo. Han Trong. Chris Fan Monica Kulikowski Jacob Souza Hanin Sharif Michael Vayet. Riley Crew. Marissa Barrera.
Crystal Tixta. Junior Zuniga. Sarah Salazar. Christy Chang. Dylan Lewis Vanderheide. Luis Vasquez. T. Vu. Janet Sandoval. Yasmin Yesenia Amaya. Valeria Colchado. Juan Padilla. Amanda Wagner. Bailey Roop. Alexia Santion. Allison Parsons. Ivan Navarro. Olivia Diane Holtquist. Madison Victor. Chloe Wellenstein. Amanda Loomis. Jasmine Ponce. Yeah. Javier Capistron. Dakota Costa. Alicia Madrigal. Giselle Bishop. Michaela Winfrey. Giselle Franco. Teresa Canales. Leslie Martinez. Cecilia Alvarez. Josephine Tran. Bach Tweet Wen. Twee Win. He Trung Wen Ku. Brian Morales. Eileen Dong Vu. Jorge Gomez. Vanessa Chow. Giovanna Jessen. Lizbeth Villegas. Armando Recio. Marissa Castillo. Denise Ramirez. Kimberly Valencia. Fabiola Ramos. Mia Song Fan. Yeah. 
Kelsey Griffin. <laughs> Teresa Nguyen. Arlette Cedeno. Zachary Morgan. Ryan Pollock. Hannah Nicole. Charlie Jones. Zachary Randolph. Jennifer Quinn. Brandon Lutz. Alicia Bravada Craft. Claudia Fong. Woo, Claudia. Stephanie Duong. Woo, woo. Brianna Nicosia. Woo. Sierra Kobe. Kobo, sorry. Jessica Santos. Fu Tran. Amanda Waltz. Christina All Schaefer. Leslie Lane. Danielle Marie Gann. Vanessa Tapia. Terry Tryon. Casey Wilson. Guadalupe Pineda. Ashley Sandoval. <laughs> Nan Nguyen. <laughs> Ni Nguyen. Cherise Garlinghouse. <laughs> Renee Maddox. <laughs> Tavares Richmond. John Weston Riley. <laughs> Vincent Tuan Nguyen. Leroy Camacho. <laughs> Jesus Palacios. Brian Reyes. Joy Gonzalez.
Chriselle Lynch. Talia Perez. Magali Mora. Bianca Sanchez. Daisy Medina. Rosemary Romero. Monica Garcia. Susan Swat. Emily McDonald. Victoria Kreisberg. Karina Espinoza. Janelle Ariano. Edith Allison Alvera. Angel Tapia. <laughs> Louisa Torres. Alondra Cabrera, Cabrera, thank you, Caballero. Steven Torres. Viviana Vargas. Leonardo Popoca. Christopher Ivan Reyes. Eduardo Garcia. Janet Jimenez. Ariana De La Cruz. Kayla Wiggs. Ivan Brent Godinez. Frank Vallejos. Joel Rowland. Kayla Brown. Kimberly Jimenez. Jasmine Butler. Jennifer Delis. Sandra Meza. Darren Nguyen. Kirolas Maja Amin. Joshua Magdaleno. Melissa Hernandez. Maribel Olivares. Marella Castillo. Jasmine Tapia.
Jessica H. Martinez. Cody May Link. Sarah Borja Rios. Magdaleno Cheluca. Ramey Williams. Aurora Garcia. <laughs> Leslie Guzman. Arely Guerrero. Brittany Jamison. Jenna Hirao. Ryan Fragoso. Jonathan Primer. Jocelyn Villanueva. Jessica Oriana. Claudia Romero. Elena Werner. Jamie Gantos. Cha Soon Park. Hannah Joe. Annette Harmon. Annie Bean. Re Strong. Rihanna Chen. Seta Chekmedian. Christopher Galindo. Karen Rodriguez. Jason Johnson. Woo! Bob Henning. Woo! Jacob Blanford. Woo! Jennifer Cox. Melanie Candace Morales. Shelby Paul. Aaron Lee. Abigail Goodyear. J. 
Jen Ankley. Riley Hawker. Christina Wyckoff. Skylar Garza. Marisol Latore Deweese. Joshua Marks. <laughs> Vance Howard. Megan Sendejas. Leah Foodham. Onisha Patterson. <laughs> Carmen Lamasca. David Andrews. Woo! Jessica Clinard Alman. Charity Fast. Myra Elizabeth Giddings. <laughs> Emily Kiros. <laughs> Colleen McGarity. Margarita Gabriela Tinoco Santiago. Madeline Elizabeth Nobles. Janae Slater. Brianna Pomo. Ricky Esperanza. And Tran. Nguyen Fan. Con Win. New Tran. Christine Wynn. Cecilia Butler. Janice Capers. Alejandra Lopez. Natasha De Leon. Scott Seal. Lilinoy Carruthers. Twee Trung. Kate Train. Janet Garcia. Angel Espino.
Ryan Limbach. Christopher Chapman. Jasmine Rucker. Jeff Vaughn III. Nikita Brown. Casey Sampson. Javon McClure. Austin Claude. Anthony Rivera. Juan Vo. Nancy Wynn. Bryson Millier. Bryce Saccato. Krista Pilato. Basil Zaza. To win. Joshua Hill. <laughs> Carolyn Campbell. <laughs> Carolina Granados. Ben Chacon. Jennifer Rios. Rainey Harrison. Danny Wen. Darcy Rabago. Rihanna Davis. Jennifer Rose Hartman. Mark Daniel Smith. Jesus Roman. Brianna Aguiar. Mariana Ariana Vo. Christina Nguyen. Joy Tran. Nancy Spino. Elaine Rivero. Monique Torres. Taylor Barnello. Quinn Nguyen. Lynn Tran. Derek Lindsay. Joanne Roper. <laughs> Kevin Meminger. 
Justin Ford. Joseph Nielsen. Augustina Carrillo. Evelyn Figueroa. Ali Capito. Marlene Ramirez. Tyler Elliott. Ida Galley. Kim Quay Pham. <laughs> Megan Doe. Holly Ede. Gregory Maline. Yamile Garcia. Perla Lopez. Brock Wolf. Sofia Alvarez. <laughs> Ashley Rivas. Christopher Buick. <laughs> Ashley DeMonte. Julie Gakiri. Marisol Zuniga. Tracy Din. Kyle Trong. Patricia Trung. Adrian Cosentino. Savannah Cravey. Edgar De La Riva. Janae Wilson. Joshua Hallman. <laughs> Kathleen Murphy. Francisco Avalos. Casper Jensen. Tao Lee. Ni Trung. Nathan Pleshik. Teresa Brown. Danica Austin. Yeah. 
Jocelyn Rivera. <laughs> Kayla Falmo. <laughs> Jennifer Garcia Nicole. Marlena Lausch. Katie May Wilson. Charles Lewis. Megan Brazelton. Holly Hennessy. Hector Hadegi. <laughs> Ashley Bosco. Andrew Erickson. Edward Menjivar. Jose Ralden. Madeline Korn. Tuen Wen. Hai Hoon. Min Lam. Finn Wen. Ann Doe. Jonathan Owatu. Giselle Artiaga. Crystal Hansen. Trang Wen. Vincent Zito. Ariel Sally. Bailey Pertel. Candice Jolly. Kimmy Fan. Ian Hulbert. Frank Mai. Isaiah Han. Zachary Pinnell. Kevin Jaimez. Sean Tufts. Sydney Munier. Christy Banalis. Maria Gomez. 
Deli De Santiago. Michael Mitchell. Maria Fernandez. Eugene Blackman the fourth. Tam Wynn. My fam. Caden Wynn. Jessica Camacho. Theotis McNair. Tara Miller. Theodora Halliday. Carissa Luervano. Lauren Brianna Garcia. Brenda Brittany Jimenez. Daniel James Rodriguez. Carla Cuevas. Ashley Gaspar. Nayel Molina Contreras. Adeline Mandujano. Colleen Noel Rood. Robert Molina. Cindy Beltran. Courtney Sargent. Allah Shahade. Jessica Lockman. Benjamin Cole Christophic Jones. Francisco Kazuhiro Adeza. Elena Ann Mosham. Abigail Anthony. Katherine Osborne. Woo! Heidi Gonzalez Vera. Giovanni Salgado. Aaron Joy Esposo Heroneta. Woo! 
So we're going to have a one minute intermission here because the audio system on the stage is frozen and it has to reboot. So just be a little patient for a second here and um, we'll be able to finish. The, um, we had to ad lib a second there. Um, graduates, please join me for the turning of the tassel. Please turn your tassel from the right side to your left, and let me be the first to congratulate you as college graduates. Congratulations on all your accomplishments. As graduates, you now join a rich history of 52 years of tradition, leaving your mark on this college as well as on this community. It has been an honor for all of us to be a part of your educational path. At this time, we ask the audience to remain seated and keep the aisles clear during the recessional until the last graduate has exited, and that you please keep the center aisle clear for the platform party and the faculty to exit. Immediately following the ceremony, we will invite all of you to a reception directly behind us, hosted by the Associate Students at Golden West Foundation. A photo booth is available in the bookstore for you and your family. Finally, let's have one last round of applause for our graduates and their families. And on an amazing night in Huntington Beach, this concludes the 2019 commencement ceremony. Thank you for attending and being a part of the ceremony. God bless. We have to start the